Hey there, welcome back, Mars here, and today we have Steam Strategy Fest and 20 games I advise you to pick. So before we jump on the list, I need to mention games are from order highest rating to lowest rating based on Steam ratings. All the games here are with discount higher or 20%. Those five five or ten percent discounts that come on, it's not real, it's it doesn't count, right? Uh, ratings only 60% and above and there's also yeah I have two games that currently I can suggest this lowest price ever recorded then we have 16 that is the same price seen before probably will have the same price after so you can pick uh, you can pick it later for the next in the next uh, sales and then just two entries just additionally from my side as a strategy fund uh, absolutely for you so that's out of the way all the links in the description check for yourself uh, I have no association whatsoever nobody's sponsoring nothing just want you to know which games are with super low prices and are absolutely I can recommend for sure and links in the description and everything in the description as in order and timestamps everything you need so first entry we have uh, this is an older game uh, well quite older but evil genius it's absolutely amazing game it has cartoonish uh, graphics, so it never gets old. It stands up right up, up to date and currently a record low price. So it has huge 90% of, so you are paying only one tenth of the original price, which is one euro. I have the prices in euro, but the same, approximately the same is in US dollars. So one, one dollar, one dollar game. It's absolutely must have. It's 94% rating super underrated low rating but check it out and you can rate it as well all right i will quickly run through so you have already the list and everything so next entry this the second one with the lowest price currently recorded 40 percent off so 20 bucks quite more expensive 20 times more expensive than the first entry but uh, I have played it through, I have also the strategy and tips and tricks video about it. It is quite a unique game where you have mothership and you need to survive and basically again strategy city building but in the space where the base is also a ship. So interesting, absolutely amazing game, I loved it. So 82% rating and game can be yours, don't miss it if you wanted it and if it's in your price range go grab it next we have uh, of course we have to mention herbal so now we have 16 games that have the same price seen before most likely will be the same price after but still i need to mention 75 percent off is quite good deal for the game that has 96 percent rating overwhelming positive so this is it's not the second one there's second Kerbal space program coming out a lot of Players are not happy to see how many things are changed. So anyways, this is the original OG. I am too dumb to play this. Uh, you need to build a rocket and, and shoot it off and then probably land it. I wake up. I'm too dumb for this. I'm, I'm just being honest. But if that's your jam, nine bucks, nine euros, game can be yours. Then, of course, Frostpunk. It also has absolutely high rating, overwhelming positive and 80% off. Five. Okay, six. Six euros, six US dollars, and you can experience and survive. Uh, well, make your people, your city survive through the absolute freezing uh, disaster. This is the Apocalypse game. Uh, it is real time strategy, it's not a um, turn based or anything like that. But it's pretty dark, pretty green because you know it's there's a lot of choices that basically you have to pick from uh, both bad decisions, the lesser evil, how to say, it, but it's really, really, let's say, pressing game. Here it is. You can absolutely grab it right now. Next, we have also game is 96% rating. It is absolutely amazing, and there is similarity with that. Evil Genius, the first entry in the list. Uh, both of these games are kind of you build your base underground, digging through the underground, and also they both have absolutely amazing humor. Actually, this one is more, it was way funnier go, going through in the uh, story and everything. It's 
I was super, super excited. I didn't know this game was so great. I highly recommend 75% off, seven and a half bucks. Game can be yours. And absolutely, you can enjoy it still, this Steam Strategy Fest. Then we have to mention six, uh, Civilization VI. This game is played up until this day with thousands of member base. This is huge. It's one of the, if not the highest played strategy game I have seen in all Steam records. It's always in, in the top. It's amazing. The game is quite old, but hey, it's Civilization. It's huge. It's turn-based. It's, it's everything you possibly know about Civilization. It's the latest entry. It has a lot of DLCs. That's uh, I'm not a big fan of that, but hey, base game, 90% off. Six bucks, six dollars. Game can be yours. You can enjoy it. Strategy fans absolutely will love it. Then we have uh, Transport Fever 2. This is a uh, transportation, a little bit different style of game where you don't build, but you transport things. But you also build, of course, because you build a um, um, stations and uh, railroads and, and uh, you know all those things but anyways you got the gist of the game of course it's in the title uh off of the price currently 20 bucks still on the expensive end most of the games will be way very cheaper but hey this is if transportation is your jam we are talking about 91 percent rating it's huge it's good it's out there down in the description links directly to steam check it out maybe it's time to grab it then we have, of course, of course, this is also quite new game. I'm just seeing now, okay, time flies, it's two years past, but it is great game. I play this thoroughly through. There's also a huge update, a lot of quality of life improvements than when I played this first. 87% uh, rating, you build the base, you teleport uh, through different worlds, different biomes in the background. You see the video and everything. It's amazingly good. Not only you build, but you also play as kind of RPG style. Well, RPG, you are a um, rift breaker itself, but you have to fight, you have to equip you, yourself, you have to improve, you have different types of weapons you can use and upgrade and, and make a combo and everything. It's, it's absolutely amazing. 40% off and 70, 80, 99, okay, nah, 80. 18, 18, yeah, 18 euros, 18 dollars, game can be yours. It is absolutely amazing. I love it. It it's looks crazy and it's crazy, crazy fun of building a lot of ba bases on a lot of planets, gathering resources because they're scattered around and the story, the story itself to get back home. Yes, it's also there. Then, of course, also there is a Homeworld Remaster Collection. If I'm not mistaken, this game was free giveaway on, on Epic Store, I think. If you haven't had your chance to grab it, it's currently discounted. We have 90% off. So 3.19. It's, it's basically nothing. It's three three bucks, three dollars. It's it's out there. Uh, it's a strategy game, of course, on the planet. It's um, it's it's a um, space. Let me get you some 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 visuals how the gameplay looks like. The the spaceship, the high, the, the high uh, uh, real time strategy and and shooting and everything. It's yeah, pack the game for yourself. I'm just to give you the entry where to start. It's of also of course under the strategy genre, so that's that's for you. It's a bit older title, but you know the discount. Well, it speaks for itself. Next we have Age of Wonders. That's a planet file. Uh, the game I think it wasn't received so good. Yeah, eighty percent only. I was surprised why it's so low rating, but well, hey, lately it's uh, up to eighty seven percent, seventy five percent discount. It's quite huge. Uh, Twelve and a half uh, bucks game can be yours it's turn-based strategy it's, you see the um, in the background uh, uh, that, uh, that's why i play try to play the video so you can see the gameplay the graphics everything about it i'm just here to give you the list huge list run through it and give you if you missed any of these entries so here it is check description video everything everything and if that's yeah 
because this limitation of how fast this short in time, uh, I don't like it. But, of course, <laughs> too much, of course, okay. Uh, Tropical 6, I'm a big fan, you probably might know this from all the videos I have played through, all the missions, I have full playthroughs, tips and tricks and guides and everything, so if you have any issues with the game, it's too, I don't know, some mission gives you headache, you can always come back and I got you covered on this. 60% off, um, 16 bucks, uh, this is the whole old long lasting uh, legacy of tropicals i like them all of course this is the latest i ho i hope they will come soon with some surprises with tropical salmon but until then this is the latest greatest they have a lot of uh these these um, bundles and everything i don't think it's play through already the base game it's already good and then maybe pick up some DLCs. I'm not pushing them, I'm, I'm here to say just about the base game, right? Uh, yes, and of course, I'm a still a big fan, so don't take just my word for it. Check the game for yourself. Age of Empires, it's fourth entry. It's highly, highly rated, and you see 84%. Now I'm already a little bit lost in how many uh, define edition, uh, definitive editions they have, how many they bring back, what's their latest number, it's just this popped out as high um, high rating, low price and the similar price it was seen before, so this is not a rock record, but hey, still, I'm here to tell you, half of the price, that's the current price tag, uh, 20 bucks, game can be yours, two years ago, approximately released, and that's it. No one needs to be introduced to Age of Empires. If you are watching strategy games, you ex you can expect at least at least one Age of Empires uh, version popping up there. Here it is. Uh, then, Anno. I'm not a big fan, because this game, that Ubisoft hold the price so high, but lately, lately we see 70 up to 75% off. This is the current uh, discount. It has already been like that in the previous sales, but hey, 15%, uh, 15 bucks, 15 euros. Uh, this is uh, also the latest entry in huge, long-lasting Anno uh, franchise. It's I'm a big fan. This latest, I'm less of a fan because somehow I found it too... I tried to play through at least four or five times. Every time in the middle of, of one of the campaigns, I'm like, okay, can I play something else? It's good, it's nice graphics, everything is there, but something, somehow I just got distracted. I don't know. Probably my problem. You will check the game, you will love it, you will get it, and it's awesome. Uh, this is also some weird entry, mixed feelings about it, um, as you can see, uh, we are still in 84% of the rating, it's quite high to be honest, but it is kind of similar to humankind, that also comes in my mind, but also of course civilization, uh, turn based huge map, build bases, upgrade, go through the history and everything, you know, the vibe is similar, but hey, I'm not saying they're copying something because there are differences, there are different, you know, play, play, feeling and all that. Although when you look at a map, it says like, okay, that's a civilization, but I'm not here to debate about that. I'm here to tell you 25% off currently, so 30. I think this is the most expensive from all the entries. I, that's not me. I just here to inform you if that's too steep, don't go there. There are other plenty in the list, but 84 rating, it's quite high, it's it's quite good. Uh, everything you can expect and play through if you're you had enough already civilization, we got you covered, all the world is for you. Moving on, we have I want to just highly, highly, highly recommend it. Not only want, but pay attention here. We have, when it was released, there was few things missing, there was no map rotation, there was some weird stuff, whatnot. The game was already with 69 rating, but hey, actually developers, they are remaking the same good old Pharaoh. I love it, it's the game I grew up with, but then 
few patch letters, I think one or two at least, they fixed every single complaint, they reintroduced uh, the map rotation, the, the fighting, the styles, the, it's still not copy-paste, but they kept so close to original Faron and fixed all the bugs. Currently, the game is with 80% rating. I played it before the patch and I was like, yeah, I see something is missing and, and something I don't like, quality of life might be improved, but hey, now I really, really want to jump back at some point. I will run, jump back and experience it full from the from the full potential it has now re reached. 20% uh, off, but the game was not so well expensive to start with. So 18.39 euros. It's currently my price, well in euro, but similar price will be in US dollars. I highly recommend if you have ever, never, ever played Faron. It comes from Caesar 3, Paron, Cleopatra, um, what's the Poseidon, but also was Zeus, Zeus, Poseidon, and then there's Middle of em Emperor or something. They all are really similar style, how you place the buildings and everything. It's, it's just different time, different developers, but all these games are really close to my heart. And seeing them renewed, for the new systems, for the new everything, and they have written all the campaigns in exact order and, and how they were in the original, this couldn't make me more happy than I am. So I highly, highly recommend this game. Anyways, too long, I've, everyone already bored of me talking, then switch to Rail Railway Empire. Honestly, for me, this game was too easy, but I'm here not because of, well, what I like or what's I don't know what I think you should play, but I also acknowledge that other players might still enjoy quite quite a bit, 76%. And yeah, it's about the trains. It's it's trains, transportation, building, a lot of such similar games. And this one in particular is 70% off, off from the original price. Uh, nine euros, nine dollars, game can be yours. Uh, absolutely, if you're, again, down in the description of the link, Check the game, check your system requirements, everything, everything. Go through the, um, the reviews. If you see the match for you, this is the right time to get it. Strategy Fest is here. And last but not least, we have four more entries. Majesty 2. So those two entries, next one, are weird because, in my opinion, they are too harsh rated. So there's Majesty 1, which is absolutely great game, but it's quite old game it's it's it doesn't age so well and this is the second entry which i have played through and i enjoyed it i played it and i was like now i look at the rating i'm like it's not fair it was way better than 69 rating but anyways 75 percent off it's quite old it's it's really old but it's a magical place where you order your um, heroes they level up then you build a house for them they slay beasts then they get money from the beast layers they come back and buy from your potions and upgrades and it's basically a cool concept how you are not directly um ordering heroes but they work on their own and yeah that's 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 how majesty 2 work there's campaign there's uh games there's achievements and all that two and a half euros two and a half bucks absolutely that's a steal that game I like it absolutely you if you want to check it feel free to do so i highly advise and another entry i have the first evil genius is a, at the start of the list and basically at the end of the list we have evil genius 2 which has kind of low rating in my opinion it wasn't that bad as you can see not the gamers but all other outlets kind of rated way higher like 9 out of 10 or, or 8 out of 10, you know? But hey, here is all the info you have to, you, 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 I can give it to you. Uh, this is the newest entry, uh, well, second entry on the franchise, released two years ago, way newer everything, but it loses a little bit charm and all that, and then it, it, it's, it's kind of more, oh, it's the same linear. I was not so fan of, of the upgrades, how they 
basically on one after another, like kind of stuck together. And but hey, the, the the same principle that you are the evil genius is there. Uh, there's a lot of connections from the first to the second entry, and and then trap building and all that, and 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 um, story kind of story. Well, basically you become more and more evil and build your base and your ultimate weapon. But all that aside, 75% off. It's 10 bucks and yeah it's newer version of the evil genius one i'd say both of them are great they both are strategy unique games i like them both anyways this is the information for you and now last two entries they are not with the lowest price not the same price but when you will see it you will understand why they are in the list so close to my heart also is firefly studios games particularly two games well four but stronghold and stronghold crusaders they both have hd version which is updated version they have already in the plans and they show there will be uh enhanced no how they call it the, basically they reworked all the game but while we are waiting for that this game 45 percent still off two two dollars two bucks you can get for yourself don't expect to play multiplayer and all that it's quite outdated for that we will have this um definitive edition uh but but here i just cannot stress how this game is game is amazing uh firefly studios released also newer games i will advise stronghold this is original hd version where you can build and all your castle and everything and you know absolutely amazing game old but amazing graphics still stay strong and last entry is kind of the same but crusader which is way in my opinion cooler because there are more different towers different like crusaders things and here we have good old trader that allows you to trade anything off i think it was absolutely amazing <laughs> In my opinion, this game was a bit easier, way easier than the original, but 98% rating. Uh, in the background, you see the castles and everything. So it's, it's one of, if not the most like favorite games game I have ever played. And I play it over and over and over again all the time. And when I heard they are releasing uh, this, this original Stronghold uh, Definitive Edition, I was, I was hyped. I'm still hyped. And <laughs> while we are waiting, that yeah, the Crusader is 65% off, two and a, two and eighty, almost three dollars, three um, three um, euros. It is amazing. I highly recommend to get it. Firefly Studios. They they absolutely created these two amazing games. You know. If the rating doesn't speak for itself, 97%, 98%, I don't know what it is. So these are the 20 entries from my side. Uh, let me finish with the final same screen. And if you have any other suggestions, uh, feel free to uh, drop it them in a comment section. Uh, if you have any questions around these games, also, I, I'm always there to answer. And we will meet in other videos. I know you didn't like my approach on um, Baldur's Gate 3 but hey technical things are technical things I still love the game it's great I hope they will fix and patch and make it like greatest of the greatest you know well it's another video and we will meet in the next video then cheers